So what do you think about that? I mean, when Bob returns, don't you think, hey, man, there's a nice opportunity here for me and me and Bob to, to, to rotate into something? They dropped the ball. They definitely did because that angle could have been really strong. Uh, the, I think the issue was at that particular time I was world champion. And I, I believe that maybe for some reason they felt that Bob shouldn't be in a world title match, which is freaking crazy. He definitely should. Uh, I can't think of any other reason why they wouldn't do it. But this would have been a great position to push Bob to where he deserved to be. I mean, having him face the world champion and maybe even beat me, and then I could beat him back and can't continue my title reign. But uh, they, they dropped the ball with that. And it sounds like you would have been game to work a program with him at this point. I was game to work a program with him. I loved working with Bob, and I wanted to work with him. You had a built-in story already right there. And I'm talking about it was already there, already That's made. Right. right. Well, it's months later, Kurt, before you're back in the ring with him. This time it's SmackDown. It's May 3rd, 2001, when he would pin you. And after being distracted by Chris Benoit, uh, who is wearing your gold medals, by the way, did the roles ever reverse? Did you ever call a match with Bob? Do you remember that? No, no, I didn't call a match with Bob. Uh, he was the more experienced wrestler. Um, I trusted him. Uh, I, I didn't start calling matches till about two years into my career where – two years of TV. Uh, so that would have been after I faced Stone Cold Steve Austin when I beat him for the world title a year and a half into the business. That was in 2001. So I would say after that is when I started calling the matches. Well, buddy, listen, exactly one year later, okay, this is you and Bob Holly. You're back in the ring with him. And uh, he would eliminate you in a number one contender's battle royal. And later on, you would then face off against each other. And there's some notes from the Observer, but that's our second clip of the week from June 602. We're going to watch the clip first. Here we go. It's you and Bob Holly. Angle slam. Angle going for the angle slam. Hardcore Holly countered. Angle with a shot to the midsection. This for the clothesline. And now hardcore. Belly to belly. Belly to belly. It was all cover by the outside leg. He's got him here. No. Angle just gets the shoulder up again. What a matchup between two great superstars here in the WWE. You're not impressed with Hardcore Holly, you're an idiot. Oh, this is it. The Olympic jewels, I love this one. Oh, a shot to the lower abdomen. Lower abdomen? And Hardcore Holly setting angle up. Oh, and a high impact maneuver. Hook to the leg. Holly's got him in angle. Oh, oh, oh. The shoulder up. Hardcore Holly just sticking angle to the man with that power bomb. Real late kick out by Kurt Angle. Holly inches away. He cannot believe he didn't get the three count. I can't believe it. Hardcore Holly making a name for himself here tonight. How do you like me now as Holly gets all fired up? Go get him, Holly. Go get him, Holly. Kurt Angle is in trouble. Here he comes, setting him up for the Alabama slam. And Kurt Angle. Wow. Look at this. Lock. The ankle lock locked in. Holly, Holly, Holly needs to get to those ropes. Holly's going to break his ankle. Look at this. He's Angle's pulled to the middle of the ring. He can break the ankle of Hardcore Holly. The ankle twisted. The ankle contorted. Angle begging Holly to tap out. Will Hardcore Holly tap? Will he draw to the bottom rope? Come on, Hardcore. Suck it up, man. Go get to this ropes, Hardcore. The threshold for pain must be tremendous for Holly. Hardcore desperately reaching, desperately trying to get to the bottom. He does. Hardcore got it. Angle would have snapped that ankle. Let go of him, Angle. It's for the Insiguri. And now Kurt Angle setting Holly up again. Right for German Angle with the oh, ball. Rolls it off. Angle rolls Holly up as well. Angle's using the damn ropes. Angle used the damn ropes to win. Damn it, Angle, what with you? Damn ropes. Oh, Hard to Holly took the fight to Kurt Angle and got ripped off right here on SmackDown. I can guarantee you one thing. This issue is far from over between these two. fight isn't over. Uh, both these guys ain't no love lost here. Hardcore and Angle. A lot of hatred building. The, oh, the Alabama Slam. Oh, Holly oh, to Kurt Angle. Oh, Angle is out. Hardcore leaving his no. calling card. And now Hardcore. No, the hair. No, the wig. Oh. Oh, blow by Angle. The hair. Hardcore went for the hair. The wig. I mean the hair. Hardcore Holly trying to rip that wig off Angle, and Angle's incensed. Angle picking up a steel chair, but that was taken away by the referee. Don't, don't mess with Angle. Angle's got the bell down. He don't need the chair. Now a ring bell in his hand. Kurt Angle. Hardcore ducks underneath it. And Hardcore Holly with ring bell. Right to the noggin. Right to the head. And Kurt Angle with a steel ring bell. Hardcore just ringing Kurt Angle's bell. Look at the ball spot. 
Man, what could have been? There's so much chemistry with you guys in the ring as I watched that match, dude. Uh, as it, Dave, there could have been some classic matches. Oh, right? absolutely. Yeah. Dave Meltzer says, a great television match. Seven minutes. The commentators really tried to push Holly as a big thing. They were pushing so hard, it almost seemed they were trying to get him into Edge's spot as the next guy moving up. And Angle did everything in the world for him. At least he fit the part in this match. Angle won with the roll-up, holding the ropes. Holly laid Angle out once after the match with an Alabama slam, but went for the wig. Oh, that damn wig. That stinky-ass wig, as you've told us before. Yes. And uh, Angle then gave him a low blow. Angle then grabbed the ring bell, but Holly got it away from him and lay, laid Angle out again. Uh, but, man, it just seemed like there was such a start and stop finish, uh, push for Bob as he would defeat you on the house show loop in Georgia as Edge was injured. But that was about it. And you would beat him on Velocity a week later. And that's it. Do you think there was more to do with Bob Holly? I know you're going to say yes. I mean, so. Yes, but uh, I also remember, I believe, Shortly after this, um, Brock Lesnar powerbomb Bob and right onto his head. That's where we're headed next. Yeah. And uh, it was unfortunate because at this particular time, they were pushing Bob and they started pushing him really hard again, you know, when he faced Brock. And uh, that set him back again. 